we've got four uh, self-catering apartments, each completely separate. We've recently linked in another little cottage nearby which was also falling down. <laughs> I just happened to see it on, on the internet, I think that the place was available and I came by for a look and um, the building was in a very poor state but I saw it had a dam and the, uh, that, the dam was actually uh, derelict as well but I thought well that would be a, a project that the, the dam could be repaired and then it could pr provide energy for the building. I'm actually a, a retired civil engineer, so I always had the, the notion of um, doing up an old mill and, and also, you know, aware of the possibilities of the hydroelectric. This is the, the output of the turbine just now, it's just that six kilowatts now. Well, the main thing was to get the dam repaired. It was breached and then I had to put in a pipeline down from the dam, which would take, carry the water down to the position where the water wheel used to be and preserve the head. I was on the internet and I found a, a paper by a doctor in a Nottingham University that had produced the calculations for making the turbines that were intended for um, remote areas like the Andes or, or, or India, you know, and it was for five kilowatts. So I got the spreadsheets for that and I scaled it up to 10 kilowatts. It was involved a, a scroll shape which the water goes round in a circle and goes down a hole in the middle and I got an old motor that was scrapped from a uh, waterworks and a half shaft of a transit van and put all that together and then got a turbine working. That more or less heat provides the heat over the, the year, that's all the, the heat the building needs. Same water that's driving the turbine, we, we draw heat from that water as well. So the electricity from the turbine drives the heat pump, which is taking heat from the same water, and the heat pump is providing the heat for underfloor heating and radiators in the building. These apartments are all low energy, you know, with, supplied by heat pump and the turbine, highly insulated, and with a nice, say, quiet environment, and that's very popular. We have a Green Tourism Award, a Gold Green Tourism Award, and some tourists actually only look for green places for holidays. It was a serious amount of work. <laughs> I mean, the pigeons were flying in and out of the roof and, uh, and there was concrete foundations and old tank bases and my wife did not think it was uh, a good idea. <laughs> it was just always an ambition. It's a kind of labour of love but it's come to, come to fruition. <laughs>